Hello, dear followers of my blogs. I'm here back on YouTube for another round of information about plant compounds and cancer. Today we will look at cells, the glioblastoma cells, which are and glioblastoma is one of the most lethal and prevalent malignant human brain tumors. And I have here an article from 2013, uh, published online on Friday, February, no, Friday, November 15th, by a South Korean team around Yo Nak Yo. And the last author is He Jung Kim. And the title of the publication is Honokyo inhibits U87MG human glioblastoma cell invasion through endothelial cells by regulating membrane permeability and the epithelial mesenchymal transition. The publication is from International Journal of Oncology and we want here to emphasize that horochiol is a phenyl propanoid. So this time we are not speaking about triterpenoids, but about phenyl propanoids, another class of plant compounds. And interestingly, also phenyl propanoids have anti cancer properties. Although they act on a different level than triterpenoids, but this is still a little bit a mystery. I will here read from the abstract. Glioblastoma is one of the most lethal and prevalent malignant human brain tumors with aggressive proliferation and highly invasive properties. There is still no effective cure for patients with glioblastoma. Holocule derived from Magnolia officinalis can cross the blood brain barrier. I didn't know this one. So the phenyl propanoid Honocule is crossing the blood brain barrier uh, similar to some monoterpenes like Tuyon, which are known to cause uh, central nervous damages uh, when drinking too much absent. Okay, the blood brain barrier and the blood cerebral spinal fluid barrier, BCSFB, making it a strong candidate for an effective drug for the treatment of brain tumors, including glioblastoma. In our previous study, we demonstrated that Honokyol effectively induced apoptotic cell death in glioblastoma. Metastasis poses the largest problem to cancer treatment and is the primary cause of death in cancer patients. Thus, in this study, we investigated the effect of control on the cell invasion process of UH7MG human glioblastoma cells through brain microvascular endothelial cells. BMECs, brain microvascular endothelial cells, and its possible mechanisms. Honokyol dose dependently inhibited tumor necrosis factor alpha induced BCAM1 expression in brain microvascular endothelial cells and adhesion of UH7MG to these cells. Moreover, Holocchio effectively blocked these uh, glioblastoma cell lines invasion through uh, membranes. Increased phosphorylation of vascular and cellular cadaverin and the membrane permeability by tumor necrosis factor alpha were suppressed by Holocchio in these brain microvascular and cellular cells. Furthermore, we investigate the effect of Honokyol on the epithelial mesenchymal transition in UH7MG cells, 
Pollen kill reduced the expression levels of snail and catamaran and B catenin, beta catenin, which are less than common markers, but increase A E catherine an epithelial marker. In conclusion, these results suggest that tonocule inhibits metastasis by targeting the interaction of UH7MG and BMEC, regulating the admission of UH7MGs to BMEC, and inhibiting, um, inhibiting BCAM1 and regulating the invasion of UH7MG to BMECs by reducing membrane permeability and EMT processes of UH7MG cells. So again, a promising plant compound here, Honokyol from Magnolia. Honokyol mainly is known from magnolia and also maybe some paper species so both from the magnolids penil propanolids are most prominent in magnolids i would say and um, so here we have also a promising field of research although the depth of action is maybe not as deep as in trichopenoids, but glyomorostoma being a very aggressive and hard to cure tumor, so it's important to know about the effect of follicle. <laughs> Yeah, you know,